All right, an interesting night to say the least I've had overnight. Okay, so you all may remember I dared this guy mm -hmm. to go and stay at the Whaley House because you try to debunk every supernatural story that's out there. He's this a non-believer. Mm -hmm. This is why I have my comfy shoes on today because <laughs> I came straight spent from the, Whaley the night House. at the Whaley House and came straight to work. Here's what it looked like. I think the most common thing that people report when they come to the house is smelling cigar smoke, which is attributed to the ghost of Thomas Whaley, um, smelling Anna Whaley's lavender perfume, and probably one of the most common ones is experiencing the ghost of Dolly, the family dog. You either believe in ghosts or you don't. There's really no in between. So when I walked into the Whaley house late Thursday night, it was no different for me than walking into grandma's house all those years ago with those creaks and unexplained noises that come with a really, really old home. So there I was with my trusted but not so confident photographer, Luis, spending the night in what the Discovery Channel calls the most haunted house in America. I'm giving one tour and a doll began to open and close her eyes by herself. But I'm thinking some dolls do that, no big deal. As I kept giving the tour, this lady said, hey, she's moving. So she could see it too. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's supposed to do that. A few weeks after that happened, I was in that same room. We were doing some cleaning and rearranging some stuff. And I picked her up and took a closer look. The eyes were painted on. They were not the kind that opened and closed. Stories. They're just stories, I kept reminding myself. Or were they? I look over at this little lady. She's petting there in front of her. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, whew. Booster up on my creepy factor, right? My coworker says, you want to be creeped out even more, get close enough to listen to what she's saying. So I get closer and closer and closer, and I can hear this little lady, and she's like whispering, pretty puppy, right? Pretty puppy, prettiest puppy ever. The Whaley House has been around since the 1850s, built on land that had once been used to hang a man named Yankee Jim Robinson, a local troublemaker who was caught stealing a boat and was sentenced to die. Anna Whaley, from what we understand, used to write in her journals uh, in Spanish, hay espíritus en la casa con ojos grandes, which means there's spirits in the house with large eyes, so she could experience things in the house and maybe even saw something we believe that something was probably Yankee Jim Robinson. But Yankee Jim would one day be joined in the afterlife by the very people he was said to haunt, Thomas and Anna Whaley. They also had a daughter who committed suicide and died in the house, and a toddler son who contracted scarlet fever and passed at 17 months old. Time and time again, we tried contacting the former homeowners, but to no avail. First, in the dining room with an amateur EVP, or electronic voice phenomenon. Is Thomas Whaley in the house? And are you happy that we're here? Give us some sort of sign. Then, simply by camping out in the master bedroom and listening for any unusual activity. By spending the night in the Whaley House, we didn't prove or disprove anything. Who's to say what people experience here isn't real? It just didn't happen for us. It's not just the house that's haunted, right? It's the whole property. Where we get stuff inside, we get stuff outside, we get stuff outside that happens inside too. You know, it's all over the place. Well, I wish and I could. And he lived to tell I the story. I wish I could believe. Gosh. I tried everything yeah. to summon the spirits. Maybe they're on vacation. No. Nothing worked. No. But I'm Louise telling you, though. is right here. Come here, Luis. Come on. Luis. Come on over. He takes off his hat. He's you a believer. Were, you were really nervous. You were very scared. <laughs> he, he wore his rosary <laughs> around his neck. There it He's is. He's a good He's Catholic. Good Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel anything? Did you feel any, like, cold gusts or anything Nothing. like that? Nothing. Nothing. Neither one of us okay. did. So you're not no. scared anymore? Yes, he is. Yeah, he's still terrified. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. Uh -huh. right, I don't Luis. know about that. All right, we'll go back tonight. See what we find. Yeah, have fun. Thanks, okay. man. A great job of editing, by the way. Yeah, yeah good job, Luis. Did a good job. Uh, especially the creeping up the stairs with the cameras. <laughs> the great, know. great video. Oh, he was so nervous. Yeah, yeah he was yes. early on. All right, let's get to see what's trending this morning. Oh.